On this episode... Dude, I don't even know where the fuck I am right now. On three scenes, two mash shows, and one beer. I know, I know, I know. Wait for it. Harold and Kumar find out what hot bitches do in the shitter. <sighs> and we've got Stone Delicious IPA. Stick around for the battle. <sighs> that was already apparently brewing. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. All I got to say is my tank's on the wall. Hey, John, how's it going? I'm not dead, so that's a plus. Yeah, any day you're on this side of the dirt nap, it's probably a plus. So how rolled in Kumar today, huh? Yep, I love these guys. They love the weed like we love the beer. Yeah, Harold is uh kind of like me. No, no, no! Hey, life would be pretty boring without our, uh, our little adventures. Short sure, time, sure. Anyway... What beer do we have? Stone Delicious IPA. Well, it's beer. It's almost always delicious. That's why we suck at this. No, it's Delicious IPA. Well, yes, it's thick. I have a rating right in front of me. I mean, it's delicious, but you know me. I like those coffee beers. It's what's for breakfast. You dumb fuck. Look at the screen and read. You making fun of me? You know I can't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the name. Holy shit. It's like talking to a drunken fucking toddler. I think I should be offended. But for some reason, I'm not. Okay, I'll go first. I like this IPA a lot, and it's gluten-free. Who gives a shit? The gluten people? Are they the second G in LGBTXYQRSTG? Are they those peeps? Holy crap, you're in a mood today. No. They just don't digest gluten very well. Drink a beer, it'll dissolve it. Could I continue with my rating? By all means, gluten boy. I- I'm not... Forget it. I'm gonna give this a solid five. It is delicious. It's a confusing beer for me. While it is delicious, it's not my most delicious flavor. And I love my gluten. Do you even know what gluten is? Part of the LGBT... No. G- no, just rate it. Okay. It's a three for me. I've had better. I wouldn't kick it out of my bed for eating gluten-free cookies. You're a fucking piece of work, my friend. I'm a masterpiece of work. (laughs) So Harold and Kumar is the story of two stoners. I'm going to make a long story short. They get stoned, and they get the fucking munchies, and they want some White Castle. But hilarity ensues. One of our first scenes is when Kumar is trying to take a leak in a bush. Excuse me, I, huh? I just, I'd flip the fuck out. I have massive fucking stage fright. I gotta have to piss a thousand gallons, be in position ready doing a pee pee dance, and then some dude walks up, it would stop like a fucking dam. You can't piss at a urinal? I can if no one's in there. I'm okay once I'm going. But if someone comes in, I just quit, and I kindly say out loud, Oh, I need to shit. And I go in the fucking stall. Which brings us to scene two. But first... Why, why are you peeing right here? What? I mean... Why'd you pee right next to me when you, like, choose that bush? Or... See, I feel like anyone who's near me in a bathroom is like Jamie Kennedy's character. Nice views. Thanks. It's fucking weird. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's a physical problem, like cancer and shit. Sounds a little more like a mental problem, Tom. I mean, cancer, really? Don't oppress me. Oh, Lord. Anyway, you ever wonder why hot chicks go to the restroom in twos? I really didn't, but uh, while not yet watching the scene, I can't already unsee what you're about to fucking say. Well, first... Well, hurry up, because I really want to go smoke weed with that dishy Indian guy. He's thinking, whoa, lucky day. We went to play Battleships. Oh, my God. We haven't played that since back at camp. Oh, my. You know, every time I see two ladies getting up to go to the bathroom, I'm going to think they're playing Battleships. <sighs> oh, hit. <laughs> Skag, you sank my destroyer. I just realized you always fucking giggle when two ladies get up from the bar. <laughs> yep. <sighs> and you know what? Right. I don't give a shit if they just released the crap on 
fired Mexican liquid shit. Or even laid the doodle -doo bird. I'll still go down. Tommy, not the place. People, just start drinking. If you're playing the fucking drinking game that goes along with this show. These two bitches are fucking hot. I would drink their fucking bath water after this scene just to stick my dick into both their buttholes. I can't take it anymore! It, it shouldn't even surprise me anymore at this point. But you always find a fucking way. This is the way, John. This is the way. Okay, final scene. Wait. Damn! <laughs> Gross hot bitches. I love them. Now? Okay, good to go. Our final scene sort of brought an older actor back onto the scene. Excuse me, are you Neil Patrick Harris? Yep. Fucking Doogie Hauser. And now a junkie pervert. Did you ever get it on with Wando off the set? Dude, I humped every piece of ass ever on that show. That's fucking awesome. I think Neil Patrick Harris should have gotten a fucking Oscar for this film. Forget White Castle, let's go get some pussy. Huh? It's a fucking sausage fest in here, bros. Let's get us some poontang, then we'll go to White Castle. Best performance ever. This is some of the funniest shit ever. Lap dance. I love his scenes in all of Harold and Kumar's flicks. As a side note, I did fuck that chick from Doogie Howser. Right? You're full of shit. Every week from 1989 to 1993. So you jerked off. In my mind, it was there, John. I was there. You are a fucking jerk off. The memories. Oh, wonderful. Anyway, the ratings? It's a hilarious movie. They're like the modern day Cheech and Chong. And you throw in drugged up Doogie. And it's funny. I'm giving it a 4.5. Great flick. I'm going all the way, just like I did with Wanda, Doogie's mom, and that fucking hot nurse from the show. I'm giving it a five. It's our 30th episode, so I'm knocking this one out of the fucking park. All right, we got 30 episodes in a can. Originally, we said we're going to do 30 and see what happens. Don't have a shitload of views, so we're going to quit this thing or what? Like, I give a shit about the fucking views. This is fucking therapeutic. Let's keep going. We'll hit 52. 52? One full year. If I haven't killed myself, jerking off, while trashed in the middle of the road somewhere, we can reevaluate. Okay, so you have an idea for next week? Don't know. But I'm going to go see if I can, uh, walk down memory lane on YouTube with Wanda. Holy shit, at least let me leave the fucking studio before you whip that shit out. Later, people, I'm leaving. Oh, Wanda. Oh, baby. Oh, baby.